It's crazy how many humanoid robots have popped up in 2025. Las Vegas-based Realbotics unveiled its new service robot named Melody at CES 2025, touting its modular design that's easy to disassemble and pack into a suitcase. Around the same time, the Phantom MK1 debuted as a DJ at a San Francisco nightclub. The new startup, Foundation Robotics Labs, is developing the humanoid for industry and the battlefield. As Israel's Menti Robotics teased the third iteration of its flagship Mentibot, in February, the aptly and boldly named British startup Humanoid emerged, aiming to give the United Kingdom a fighting chance in the global AI race. At the Leap Tech conference in Saudi Arabia, the leading Chinese robotics firm UBTech showcased its first hyper-realistic humanoid, Una, designed for applications like customer service and event marketing. Then Clone Robotics creeped everyone out with its synthetic human prototype called the Proto-Clone. The startup, which operates out of the US and Poland, describes the android as faceless and anatomically accurate. The well-funded startup 1X Technologies, which was founded in Norway and is headquartered in Sunnyvale, followed that with its Neo Gamma humanoid that it's testing in a limited number of real homes this year. The robot is powered by the startup's Redwood AI model, which 1X says means it can enter unfamiliar homes and get to work right away. In March, India's Mux Robotics entered the race toward fake humans with its new line of industrial humanoids. The flagship is the Space Opro, a wheeled humanoid with a reported payload capacity of 200 kilos. Meanwhile in California, Dexmate started taking pre-orders for its general-purpose mobile robot named Vega. According to Dexmate, the $90,000 bot's high-capacity battery runs for more than 10 hours per charge. In Paris, Enchanted Tools boasted the next-generation iteration of its Maroka anime-inspired humanoid's integration with Google DeepMind's Gemini Robotics AI model. In China, a new wave of short and relatively low-cost humanoids emerged, including Agibot's Linksy X2 and the N2 from Noetics, which retails for around $6,000. In Shanghai, Keenan Robotics, which has already shipped more than 100,000 of its service robots, unveiled its X-Man humanoid it plans to sell into its sizable customer base. As summer approached in the United States, a new crop of affordable humanoids hit the market, including UC Berkeley's $5,000 3D-printed Berkeley Lite, K-Scale Labs' $9,000 K-Bot, and Hugging Face's $3,000 collaboration with the Robot Studio. As the Swedish industrial automation powerhouse Hexagon generated buzz with its EN humanoid, Unitry and Figure teased their next generation machines. Make sure to subscribe to monitor this situation.